captain. She's highly trained. Deception, infiltration, extraction. She's special forces. Hide in Versio. Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. You must be important. Look at me. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. You know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Take on my offer. All I want is the code. The Empire's time has come. You don't have to go down with it. You're right. The Empire's time has come. Tactical droid. You were way more advanced than the ID 9. Slicing into you is not going to be easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I suggest finding the access code? The captain's working on that in the detention center. Until then, the only way to access this droid's data is to pry the memory core out of its shell. Analysis shows this ID 10 has been modified with an electroshock probe. Which can't do anything if the droid is deactivated. Until it hears the access code, this ID tank... Zero casualties. Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko! Those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the job S incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the rebellion. Worse than expected. 
There's no way to repair or reactivate. Then our battle station is vulnerable. Eliminate the rebels and return to the Corvus. The Emperor's plan must not fail. Yes, sir. Agent Hask with me. Agent Miko, cover us from here. Can't be all of them. Those rebel commanders must have already moved on. We should too. We're near platform four. Is there a shuttle there? No, TIE fighters only. Even better. We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out here. No, no, we'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. Look alive, agents. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to move. On you, Commander. You wish to see me, sir? Approach. The Emperor is dead. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. The Empire will assault the very foundation of the Rebels' pathetic belief in themselves. Tell me, Aiden. What is the source? of their belief. Hope? Hmm. Correct. This messenger's presence is a great honor, one I choose to share with my daughter. Admiral Versio, Operation Cinder is to begin at once. Resistance, rebellion, Defiance. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist. You are but one of many tools by which these ideas shall be burned away. Heed my messenger. He shall relay you to your target. Operation Cinder is the last command of our Emperor, and the first step in securing our future. Inferno is crucial to its success. What's our target say? You are not verified. That information can wait. For now. Here are next assignments. They are unusual. But these are unusual times. Go, Commander. Do what you do best. In preparation for Operation Cinder, we've been ordered to the Fondor shipyards. Agent Hask, you and I will retrieve experimental satellites for the Star Destroyer Dauntless and oversee security for Moff Wraith. Agent Miko, you have the Corpus. Commander, we secured the satellites. Good work, Agent. Moff Ray has informed the Admiral that Operation Cinder could proceed as planned. Attention, attention. Rebel ships have entered Fondor space. Start a destroyer safe. The rebels can't learn about. 
about Operation Cinder. Operation Cinder have been delivered to Admiral Versio. Our next mission is equally important. Inferno has clearance to access one of the Emperor's classified observatories buried on the planet Pilio. It contains dangerous artifacts our enemies could use against the galaxy. The observatory is protected by a mantle defense system. Agent Miko, we need your technical expertise to disable it. Take what you need for an expedition, locate and destroy the observatory. The Empire's here. What I sensed was true. There must be something special about this place. You stay here, R2. The scanner's probably spotted us. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Who are you? I heard you call out. Sounded like you needed help. Yeah, I do. Do you think you can get me out of this? Hold still. I know who you are. Why'd you help me? Because you asked. We're together if we're gonna get out of here. Whatever's inside these doors, those bugs don't like it. There's nothing on this thing. How am I supposed to open it? With a key. Why would the Emperor have a vault that can only be opened using the Force? Why do you think? 
You're telling me the man who destroyed the Jedi Order was secretly one of them? No. I'm telling you that as a boy on Coruscant, you were frightened of the wrong thing. This is all worthless. Not all of it. What is that? I'd like to keep this compass, if you don't mind. My mission is to destroy this place. Why would I let you do that? Because I asked. Thank you. I won't stop you from destroying this vault. Wouldn't you say the Empire's done enough damage to innocent worlds? I'm glad we were brought together, Del. So what happens now? We both walk off in separate directions and pretend like this never happened. I don't think you can. There's still conflict in you. Of course there's conflict in me. I'm not blind. I know what the Empire is capable of, but... What else is there? A choice. Welcome back, Agent Miko. The Admiral needs us to extract an Imperial ally on my home world of Vardos. The target is Protectorate Gleb, a local official who once mentored both Agent Hask and myself. I don't know how this connects to Operation Cinder, but I have to trust the Admiral. Make the jump to Vardos. That's the Dauntless. It's the ship we rescued on Fondor. Why is it here? Well, it's delivering cargo. It's carrying those satellites. Moff Wraith said they were needed for Operation Cinder. But he wouldn't tell us the target. Neither would the Admiral. Now I know why. Satellites are aligned, sir. Excellent. I did not call for you, Commander Versia. Vardos is our target? One of them, yes. Why? The entire planet and its people, they're, they're loyal to the Empire. The Emperor commands it. We'll purge this planet and others. Fear shall spread and the galaxy will remember who is in control. This is our home. The Empire is our home. And we will do as the Emperor commands. I don't take orders from dead men. You take orders from me! Activate the satellites now. <laughs> Leave for Vardos immediately. Recover Protectorate Gleb. She is your only target. That is all. That is all. You. I knew I was important, but to risk his own daughter's life. Target acquired. Get a move on, Gleb. Oh, she is giving me orders now, precious. Whoa, 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 get... Look, he is with me. The others will stay here. They are not important. Come!
Commander. We have a ship on landing bay two. You'll be safe there. Go, go now. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? No, no, stop. Ah! Stop. This is not our mission. Stand down. It's okay. We'll get you off world. Go. No. 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 Don't you. I am your commander. Stand down. I do Our orders are clear. We are to recover the Protectorate Gleb alone. Things have changed. Look around you, man. Do you even recognize the Empire Del, anymore? please don't do this. The Just Empire's do this. job is to save civilians from things like Operation Cinder. This is the new Empire. If this is the new Empire, I want no part of it. I'm taking the orders of my commanding officer. Are these your orders? Are these your orders? Because if they are, this is treason. Are these your orders? Yes. Then I have mine. Lower your weapon. Divine will be the death of you. I'm no Versio. Commander Versio. And Agent Miko have abandoned the mission. They've committed treason. Understood. Return Gleb to me. That is your mission. Congratulations, Commander Has. So, we're not completely alone. Some of the crew stayed with us, protected the refugees against those who wouldn't. How are they? Shaken. Confused. But safe. Just want to know what's next. We have to warn people. Who? The rebels? They're just going to toss us in Sunspot prison before we can even say a word. That's why I think you should just take the Corvus and go. Leave me a TIE fighter. I'll set off a distress call, wait for the rebels to find me. You really think I'm going to let you just float out here alone? Del. We're Infernal Squad. You and me. of the Imperial Raider Corvus, sending a general distress call to the Rebel Alliance. We surrender. Contact the general now. So you thought it was a trap, but brought them on board anyway? You're always telling me to take risks. Seemed like the most irresponsible thing I could do. <laughs> that a boy. Hello, I'm General Lando Calrissian. You must be the Imperial defectors I've heard so much about. We don't even know how to fly X-wings. Should be easy for Special Forces. What's the alternative, I? So, 
What's it going to be? at the same burning star that's right the imperial protocol is to jump away to a safe location those ships are headed straight for feed they're gonna attack the city everyone get to feed as quickly as you can we may have the means to stop this will have to do. Anyone know your way around machines? I do. You're with me. Feed uh. has a defense system. Something we can use to stop the Empire. But the storm has damaged power relays across the city. Until they're repaired, we can't activate anything. Split up. Repair the relays. When you're done, regroup at the palace. Got it? Yeah. Just one. Senator Organa, it's been a while. Building a republic is busy work. <laughs> so is chasing after an imperial fleet. It's about to get busier, Commander. I need a favor. One of our generals has gone missing. I tracked him to Takodana, but he isn't answering his call. I need you to find Han Solo. another Park Kellen sling. Not until you pay for the last one. Come on, you know I'm good for it. <laughs> I don't know that you're good for anything. Where's my Wookiee? Chewie's working on the Falcon. Long-range communicator took a hit back on Jomar. You never bring him around anymore. <laughs> you make him nervous. <laughs> you two are up to something. Spit it out. You know our business goes through me. I'm meeting an Imperial turncoat. Says he can help us free the Wookiees back on Kashyyyk. You seen him? I swear, if you bring the Empire to my doorstep... You know I always cover my tracks. Come on now, help me out. Help Chewie. I don't know your man, but it is late. And you may find that this crowd is... Thanks, Mars. I owe you one. You owe me more than that, Han Solo. And don't you forget it. Oddly enough, most statisticians are killed by apprentice statisticians. Oh dear. Friends of yours? 
assume this is your fault? Usually is. What's my number one rule, Solo? No fighting. Come on. We gotta move. Just be sure you do come back. Don't worry. You can't get rid of us that easily. She's all yours, Commander. I'm telling you, girl, whatever you did to this droid, it's not right. <laughs> I, I just fixed it. You can't blame me if it likes you now. Inferno Squad. Shreve, I haven't seen you since Lando volunteered you for this. How you been? Wonderful, Senator. What's on your mind, Commander? According to Peldora's intel, my father has been running operations on Bespin and Sullust. I'd like your permission to find him and capture him. You don't report to me, Aiden. A fleet command might not approve us undertaking such a personal mission. Ah, well, we can't have an Imperial Admiral out there reinforcing the fleet, can we? I'd appreciate you bringing him in, Commander. Yes, ma'am. And may the Force be with you. Searchlights all over the city. Task will be in the Overseer's Tower on Chinook Station. Better stick to the clouds so they don't spot us. idea. You're not gonna like it. Okay, we'll meet you at the tower. Until then, you stay out of sight. That new paint job will give you away. Well, don't just stand there, soldier. Let's get the move on. Where is everyone? Did you really think it would be so easy? Ask. We picked up the Corvus the second it slipped through the blockade. If it were up to me, I'd deal with you personally. But I have responsibilities now. And taking care of you is no longer one of them. Goodbye, Aiden. No, no, no! We can't let him get away! We have intel on an abandoned Imperial factory on Sullust. Admiral Versio plans to recover a weapons cache from inside. We're gonna steal it first. I've called in some help to guarantee we do. Triv, you'll be on the ground with General Calrissian. Secure those weapons and call us for escort. No matter what, they can't fall into my father's hand. Hmm. You have a bad feeling about this. I'd be worried if you didn't. Admiral Versio's people aren't supposed to be here now. We should call Aiden for extraction. Relax. It's one strike team. We'll be fine. And if it's not... that factory had a bigger impact than we thought. Admiral Akbar is calling all Republic ships to Jakku. The whole Imperial fleet is there, minus the equipment they would have received from Sullust. I expect my father will be there too. But catching him is no longer our priority. This battle could be the end of the war. Let's get in, and we do what we can to help.
Carabas. I'm picking up distress calls. Too many to count. Del, the Corvus is yours. Cover the sky. Sherv and I will help on the ground. Hold on a moment. Aiden. Make sure you come back. Make sure I have a ship to come back to. Hey, Shrift, I hope you survive this incredibly dangerous mission as well. Thank you, Dell. Your friendship means everything to me. Aiden, he's not worth it. I have to try, Del. Now go. Fine. Retreat! This is a rescue attempt. I politely decline. We have to go now. Rax expects me to leave, too. This is where I belong. I gave my life to this empire. Fought to keep it strong. Hard to believe this is all that's left. You saw the Empire's weakness and refused to let it consume you. It made you stronger. That's why you're leaving here without me. You deserve better than this. No, I don't, but you do, Aiden. You deserve to live in peace. Go. Survive. Live. tells me you're alive. Looks that way. I'm glad. Now, come on. You gotta see this.
me to the prisoner. Of course. This way, please. You know, if you wanted to hire my ship, you could have just asked. The map to Skywalker. You know how I can find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me where the old man took it. <laughs> Pleasantries ask. We both know how this ends. Yeah, and you don't get to be brave! Because you are not a soldier anymore! Look at you, you're a coward. You traded in your weapon. For what? No, Iden may have betrayed me, but you tell, you let me down! So, Prospect Resurrection can continue as planned. On the contrary, Clem. I sought you out because, because you were useful to me once. We rebuilt your home and we allowed Janata Security to maintain control of the system, but in return you have fallen behind schedule and you have allowed an outsider to discover our plan. An honest mistake, I assure you. My men will relocate the Pinio operation and up no triple our efforts on a film. Well, I shall leave behind a few of my men to see that you do. Make sure you bury Del Mico and his crew. But leave the Corvus alone. You know it will lead her back here. I'm planning on it. Maneuvers. This is not what I had in mind. It'll be fine, Mom. Quit being such an old lady. Old lady? This old lady's about to teach you a thing or two about X-Wings and safety. Incoming call from the Corvus. Dad's not supposed to be back for a couple of days. I... Shrev. I'm sending you coordinates. I need to see you. We're on our way. Uncle Shrev, I've missed your big face. Oh, yeah, same here, Zay. Is everything okay? Where's your mom? Looking for my husband. It's good to see you, Shrev. isn't here. Well, did he send you to help us? Janata Security has already kidnapped so many families, and we are in desperate. Someone's jamming the signal. The 
Those are Janata security ships. Gleb's forces. What's going on? We've got company. Shriv, I need your experience and analysis on the bridge. Zay. Look, I know this is sudden, but you're ready. Meet me in the hangar. I may have told them that we were prepared to fire all of our concussion missiles at once. Zay, the Corvus never had missiles, you know that? Yeah, well, they don't know that. No, they don't. Nice work, soldier. That's not all. They gave up everything. Gleb scooped up Dell when he stumbled onto Project Resurrection. Where is she? You're not gonna believe it. It's Gleb. It was Gleb. Ask. Drop your weapons. The Protectorate had outlived her usefulness to Project Resurrection and the First Order. Project Resurrection. Kidnapping children. Rescuing. Forging them into an army the likes of which this galaxy has never seen them. The Senate won't stand for this. The Senate and the rest of the Hosnian system are now nothing but ashes. Those red lights in the sky. It's beautiful, isn't it? You see, the Republic spent decades doing nothing. And all along, we were preparing for this day. You see, Aiden, I hope you appreciate that today, of all days, I chose to be here with you. In the place where you took everything from me, yes, our squad, my family. And I've waited a long time to return the favor. First with Del. Yes. And now, with your daughter. they know about the resistance and then burn this city. I had to live in your galaxy, Arden. Now it's your turn to live in mine. Your dad is dead. What? We were wrong about Gleb. It was Hask who killed your father. Hask is alive? Yes. But not for long. We're gonna board that Star Destroyer and end him for good. I... You wanna go after Hask? Hurry up! He's getting away! Mom, stop. Killing one man won't change what happened to Dad. 
If I'd been willing to fight, if I just joined the Resistance, then none of this would have happened! You heard Hask. The First Order's been planning this for a long time. None of this is your fault. And it's not too late to make a difference. The Resistance needs all the help it can get. If we could learn how powerful the First Order really is... Then the Resistance might have a chance. Okay. Okay. We still gotta get up there. Be sure of. You got a bad idea. Welcome to the Resistance. Regroup when we find something. I'll just go on my own then. Look at all this. You see anything? Over here. Project Resurrection. <gasps> Wait a minute. Janata, a mock system. The First Order kidnaps children and forces them to become stormtroopers. Their military numbers must be... I can't even imagine. Try to find a manifest. Yeah. Are those? Capital ships. Enough to reclaim control over the entire galaxy. Stop there. What is that? A First Order dreadnought. That sounds bad already. It is. I've heard stories from General Argana. Rumors, mostly. But they're terrifying. Then we need to find a weakness. Deal, you're up. Download the schematics for that ship. We need to bring it to Leia and the Resistance. Until the ship's out of hyperspace, we're not going anywhere. I got a plan for that. Find us a ride out. Make it a fast one. You'll know when it's time to move. I dislike this already. Go! No! That's the item I remember. Bold, unpredictable. Use your weapon. Come on, use your weapon! Say? It's okay. Motherhood has made you weak.
What's wrong? Hey. No, 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 no. Okay, mommy, you need to get some help. Come on. No, 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 mom, no, no, come on. It's too late. It's too late. Listen. You need to get Dio to the resistance. Do you understand? No, what are you talking about? No. It's gonna be okay. No, it isn't. I need you. How are you so calm right now? I'm scared. I'm just more afraid of failing than dying. But I have hope in you. Listen. Listen. We fight so others can live. And if we die, it better be for the same reason. You understand? I love you. I love you more. I wish you could see what I was. Say, you there? Hope you two are ready because we gotta move. It's just me, Shrev. She's gone. Oh. It's okay. She made it count. She always did. Contact the Resistance. Tell them that this is just the beginning. The First Order is still coming. But we have hope. And hope is the reason we are going to win. Sector clear, Resistance base. No sign of the first order yet. Wait. Contact! No contact. This is Shriv Shrigov. Clearance code 73 Tau. We are friendlies requesting permission to land. Please do not shoot us. Landing request denied. are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly. Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Squadron's on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? 
No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. It will be done. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. Kyo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches, so I'll just say I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? And those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zerelda Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? 
You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Huh. You've arrived. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard Five. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Chris and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental System's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I've given you a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. An old enemy has finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. The common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Gray, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, soul. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, squadron leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven. 
doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan III. Let's get to work. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. Linden. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon, what have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselis. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial Post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Scan one. 
That convoy's now the computer had the sector and system we've been looking for. <laughs> we've got them right where we want them. Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Out of REM. Remetic system. Grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grawl. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> he wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well... Lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now! The war goes on. Didn't stop at Endor. Won't end with a Starhawk. Whatever's destroyed rises again. I've lived it. They need soldiers, pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. Finish off that medical frigate, or head to the silver. 
kill the coronet. The overseer is en route to assist. I'll deal with it. Frigate is destroyed. Superb work. The Republic will rush to defend Moncala and leave Nadiri wide open. Excellent work. Turn your back on. I'm here now, Teresa. If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations! Fire on that ship! Princess Hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it. But don't worry, I'll buy you enough time. Project Starhawk, and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Hello? No, but thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you.
saved. It's done. Thank you, Titan Three. So perish all traitors. Imperial ships, prepare to withdraw. They're refusing, Captain. They plan to eliminate the Rebel fleet. Fools. Our mission is complete. Take us to light speed. Leave their Starhawk to burn. Titan Squadron. With Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Jave sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees. Starhawks as intact as possible. It's going to land like a hammer. Good work, Vanguard 5. like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Javes will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage, inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of imperial oppression into the light of a new era. Finger, what? Choke,